Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is focusing on a Goodlock 2019 alternative. Now, if you're not familiar with Goodlock, this is a, an application that Samsung released officially to be able to add new features into our Galaxy line of devices. That's been available for a few years, but 2019 has so many more modules that I've had a lot of people tell me that this is not available in their market. Well, today, NiceLock will provide us an option to be able to get these modules installed on devices that are not supported or hopefully will be supported very soon. This is TK, let's check it out. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified whenever we push out a new video on the channel. So the application that we've talked about at the beginning is Good Luck. This is a Samsung provided application. You go directly to the Samsung App Store, you download it, and then you'll be able to download these additional modules. And they're broken up into two categories, units and family. So the unit ones are the ones that are basically more functional. So you have lock start for the lock screen, quick start. Last time I did a video for you guys showing you guys how nice shot works and the ability of customizing your screenshotting experience on your Galaxy device. Again, this runs on one UI or this version of it runs on one UI with uh, basically like the S8, S8 Plus, Note 8, uh, S9, S9 Plus, Note 9, and of course the S10 line of devices. But this is not working on everybody's device. This is not available in all markets yet. And it's basically taking time for before it gets to all devices, all S10 line of devices specifically. Here enters NiceLock. Now, NiceLock is an alternative to GoodLock. And what I mean by that is, this is kind of like a launcher for it, but it also has a thread that gives you the ability to be able to sideload these applications individually. So an example would be here. Now I have all of these modules installed because I do have GoodLock running on the S10 Plus. The S10e as well, both of those, these two devices here in the US do support it. So there's no issues for me, but let's say I don't have access to this. I can download and install uh, NiceLock. I'll go ahead. It is ad supported. There is a pro version if you'd like to get the ads removed. Uh, there is theme support here to be able to turn on the dark mode if you'd like to. And of course, notification preference and change lock depending on the update. Uh, you can also categorize them in different formats as well as to see here and open up the XDA thread for the support. And I'll explain to you what I mean. So all of these modules again are the ones that I've installed, but let's say I do want to go in there. So I just click it and it opens up and it works the same. And it works exactly the same. Again, keep in mind there is that uh, whole ad supported feature. I'm using the free one. But if we go into the uh, basically the XDA thread, that this is the thread for the specific application. Um, if you don't have a specific module installed, it will automatically give you the option of either going to the uh, Galaxy Store or the XDA thread. The XDA thread for you guys will be more than likely the best way because if you can't install good luck in the first place, chances are you won't be able to see these modules either. But either way, uh, these modules are available through APK Mirror. There's Nice Shot, Note Star, uh, Sound Assistant, Lock Star, Quick, uh, Quick Star, Task Changer. Let's open it up. And then, of course, Nav Star and Multitask Update. And the cool thing about them is once you have them installed, you can sideload them. So essentially would be and then you can download the latest version available depending on whatever we have. But once you have it on, it's no different than using you know, good luck. You find the actual module that you want to be able to get into. So multi-star is the one that I want to open. And you can see right there, I can open it up, customize it and use it the same way as if I was using good luck. So again, if you're in a market that's not supported or not supported yet, and you want to be able to get these things running on your device, make sure you check out nice luck. And I'll put that link for you guys in the description below. As I mentioned, there's two versions. There's a free and a pro. This is the free version, which is ad supported. And of course you can get rid of the ads if you go with the pro. The intention of this video is to provide you guys an alternative or an option to be able to check out these modules, specifically if you're in a market that hasn't received good luck yet. And again, this is something that will work for you. And then of course, once good luck is released, installing good luck over on your device and removing nice luck, will just basically transition these modules already directly into good luck. And you can just customize them directly from there. There's nothing really going on in the background other than and just basically uh, aggregating these applications, providing you access to their setup options so that you can actually get them customized to the way you'd like. Like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support. Share this with anybody that's been having problems using good luck on their device as nice lock is definitely a very nice alternative in the meantime. I'll see you guys in the next video.